Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here, and so I've got some new news for us all today. It's about the update on the monarch population for 2023, and so the last few years I've tried to give updates based on information from Monarch Watch and let us know how the monarch population is doing. So I hope you stick around and watch the video. I'm going to give some ideas about how to help the monarch out. I'm going to talk about the monarch migration and then give you the latest population update on the monarch. So let's jump right into it. The monarch butterfly has one of the most magnificent migrations of any creature on the earth. You can see on this map that on the east coast, monarchs may migrate down to Florida in the winter, or on the west coast, on the west side of the Rockies, they may migrate down to Southern California. But the majority of monarchs in North America from Southern Canada and central parts of the U.S migrate down to Mexico, over 2,000 miles, and they do this migration every fall. Then in the spring, they start their migration back into the United States and up into Southern Canada. But it's also just so important that they have a nice spot in Mexico to migrate to. They end up being uh, spending their time roosting on fir trees. And this is uh, where it's located, just west of Mexico City in this monarch butterfly biosphere. So the monarchs roost on these fir trees in Mexico, and there can be thousands and thousands of monarchs on each fir tree in Mexico. And so it's just critical that the fir trees are available for them. But it's been a huge issue in Mexico is the locals, they're using that wood for firewood and they're cutting down the trees and it's diminishing the amount of space available to monarchs. So every year, the World Wildlife Fund goes to Mexico, the Sierra Madre Mountains, and they count and estimate how many hectares, and a hectare is about two, just under two and a half acres of space, where there's wintering monarchs. And it has a history back to 1994, and so you can see this history laid out here. So you can see there's been a steady decline since 1994. In each hectare, there can be about 50 million monarchs. So you can see in 1997, there was almost 900 million monarchs. And it's declined to 2020, 141 million. It's been a little flat the last few years. But in 2023, we actually had a 22% decline from 2022. And we only have 2.2 hectares or about 111 million monarchs. So the amount of overwintering space for monarchs in 2022 was seven acres, but is down to 5.5 acres in 2023, a significant decrease. So what's causing the monarch decline? Let's get into this. So it's a complex issue, what's causing the decline, but there's a couple of main reasons. It's the loss of trees in Mexico for them to roost in when they hibernate, and it's the loss of habitat in North America. We talked about how important these fir trees are for the monarchs. They roost in them all winter in Mexico, but the locals in Mexico, they wanna use this wood, right? It's not a super um, wealthy area. They need the wood for fire. They sell the lumber for money, for income. So it's really put a damper in the space needed for monarchs. The issue in the rest of North America is the loss of habitat for the monarchs. And what they need is milkweed. That's their host plant. That's where they lay their eggs. That's what the caterpillar eats. But our big agriculture is dumping tons of pesticide and herbicides on its fields and killing off all the milkweed. Even our ditches have gotten narrower and narrower over the years, and so we have loss of milkweed habitat. We could use this space to plant milkweed. We can all help by planting milkweed. It's where the monarch lays its eggs. It's, the leaves are what the caterpillars eat. And even as the caterpillar turns into a monarch, milkweed has pollinating flowers which give strength and energy to monarchs to carry on its life cycle. All right, I hope you've enjoyed learning about the monarch population in 2023. 
we can still all do a lot of work to try and help out the monarch, planting milkweed, pollinating flowers, and do all we can to save the monarch butterfly. So that's all I have today. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out. Have a great day.